Hello everyone, I am here and since I released my last clip called Hunger, I've been given a lot of requests if I could make 3D for people because they think my 3D is kinda good. And since I don't want to make 3D for everyone, I'm just going to show you how you can make your own nice and neat 3D. So here's the beta of what we're going to be making. Turn things around and show something nothing with nothing. And now I saw across the road as materialized. We locked our feet right here, right now. Just yeah, so that's basically what we're going to be making. Uh, first, we need a program called Endorphin, uh, where we make our animations. Uh, it's uh, kind of uh, a, a simulation engine for, I don't know, making good, making good animations. So I'm just going to make an animation here. And we should also delete our character who is there when we open the program. And we need to go to character, add character, and automation to and press ok uh, now we need to add um, uh, a custom animation so we go to uh, uh, right click on the track and we select create animation event then we can uh, go into our uh, we go into computer C uh, program files and down to natural motion and endorphin and resources and animation or audio animation to FBX and then we have a lot of animations here uh, I'm just going to choose uh, jump with roll actually I'm just going to go into audio motion one and choose uh, run Okay, so we're going to open that run, run to stop, turn right. Okay, so we open that one and we choose hips and uh, reference character and we choose our audio motion to okay. Now, if we simulate this, you will see that he is uh, running. Uh, so, and when he stops running, animation is kinda over, it just falls yeah I didn't simulate him anymore so yeah that's what she's going to be doing uh, so we can kinda make him jump here if you want to you just right click and choose uh, create behavior event, yeah behavior event and we choose uh, name and we choose jump and dive because that's the coolest and we choose jump timing so it does it straight away and strength we can put way up so we just put a little bit into here and we can see how it's waiting yeah that was really shitty but you can spend more time making better animations and stuff like that so yeah you can just google how to make animations uh, anyways I'm just going to simulate this through Yeah, that will do. Yeah, okay, so now we're going to export our animation. So we go to export and we choose where we will save our animation. And we need to save it as uh, FBS, FBX 6.0 files. So we choose that one and we go um, uh, just save it to tutorial save and scale one and frame blah 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 yeah okay uh, now we open our Cinema 4D and we uh, import the map we're going to put or actually we're going to merge our our character so we go to uh, our models and we choose just DSG9 and the file and now what we need to do is that we take the bones of this one I mean the arms and we put them basically quite uh, put them as much uh, I don't know uh, horizontal as is possible so we just kinda rotate it up like that 
maybe 35 and then we take the Kelvin and we put that up 10 this will also up 10 and yeah like this you know, 35 that's uh, okay so now as we have done the disk correctly just 5 degrees up here yeah uh, we choose uh, select children and we right click on this one and select select children again and now we right click and uh, current state object now we end up with this we can just delete all of this we have this now we need to scale this up um, or actually first we can import the animation we made so let me see So here is our animation. So now we can see that the character is much bigger, or the bones is much bigger. So we take our character and we rescale it. So I figure out 2.6 or 2.7. It's kind of good. 2.4 for the characters maybe. Yeah, you just rescale it so it fits. Maybe like so. Now we just uh, delete the camera switcher and we uh, select uh, select children and our mesh and we choose uh, character commands and bind yeah so uh, if it doesn't add a skin automatically just just go to character uh, and skin and just drag it into the uh, your mesh now it should stick to the thing and you have uh, quite good animation uh, you, I'm just doing this really quick. You should really spend more time doing this. And uh, yeah, so now we can add a map if you want to. Like, cool, maybe. But we also need to resize this up, so we just choose the map and we scale it up to 2.4 as we remember. 2.4, 2.4, and 2.4. And now we just, uh, yeah, I guess that's okay. We're not going to use this animation for everything, but it kind of runs, and then, yeah, do some crazy shit. So, let's just add the material. Yeah. Take off the specular, add to the character. Now we can zoom in on that person. And we can render a little test frame. Yeah, I don't have good uh, render settings on now, so yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's basically how I make my animations. I just use Endorphin to kind of do the animations and I put them into Cinema 4D and add some render settings and that's really all there is. Thanks for watching and have fun making animations.